magnify your holy name, Jesus. You are worthy, Jehovah, to be exalted. You are worthy to be glorified, mighty Jesus. You are worthy to be honored, everlasting Father. You are worthy to be exalted, Jesus. Thank you, Master, for this moment that you've given unto us. How we bless your name, Jesus. How we honor your name, King of glory. How we adore you, Jehovah Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, may you receive all the glory for the things that you have done, my Father. Thank you for this, Father, to have brought us, mighty God. How we exalt your name, Lord. How we lift your name up on night, Jehovah. How we glorify your name, everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are worthy, Master. You are worthy. You are worthy, King of glory. Rikanda laba shanda raba sa Malakata raba shente leba sa Rakande leba shanda raba kota Limala makande leba sa Rakato lobo shanda raba kote Malama lama sheke reba sa Liakanda raba kota lama sa Rekate leba shanda raba kota Liakande leba shanda robo sa Malakando robo shiki liba kanta Rekete leba shanda raba kata Liakoto lobo shande reba kanta In the mighty name of Jesus my father I exalt you this afternoon my father I bless your name this afternoon my father I honor your name this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus you are great and greatly to be worshipped you are great and greatly to be honored my father Rikandele Basai Lama Shanda Rabakata Liamala Makoto Robo Shandele Basai Malakonte Le Basai Rakanda Laba Shente Malakata Rabakonta Lama Sai Rima Sheka Laba Conte in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, receive all the glory for the things that you are doing. Receive all the glory for the things that you have done. Receive all the glory. Glory for the things that you are going to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, my Father God, no one can do the things that you do. No one can heal like you do. No one can save like you do. No one can bless like you do. No one can restore as you do, my Father. And that is why I worship you, Lord. That is why I humble before your presence, my Father. La kanda raba shanta la bala bala rekata la bala bala shanta rubulubu sai come on somebody worship Jesus worship him because his presence is here with us rakando lobo shanda raba kota le kanda la ba shente re bala ba sai ria makanda la bala ba shanta rubulubu sai rakato lobo shanda raba kota le kande le ba shanda raba kote you will never gather your people in vain. And I believe that my father, you have gathered us here today for a divine purpose of God. Let your will be done in our lives. Let your will be done in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you release great grace upon us, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you pour your grace upon us, my Father. Rikanda Labakota, because we are expectant, my Father. We are expectant, mighty God. We are expectant, everlasting Redeemer. We are expectant, Jehovah God. Oh, Rabba Shanda Labalaba. Malakata raba shente le balaba sa le kanda raba kota la balama sa malakonto robo shanda la bakote makonta raba shinte di masa le kanda raba koto robo robo sheke la kande le balaba shando robo sa in the mighty name of Jesus you are wonderful my father you are great my father rikanda la ba shente le balaba konta la kato robo shanda raba kota. Likandele basaya, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you are going to do something new, my father. Do something new in this service. Do something new, King of God. Do something new in our lives. Do something new in our ministries. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let your name be glorified. Oh, I honor you, Jesus. And I bless your holy name, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Do something new in my life, something new in my life.
my life Something wonderful in my life Oh love Do something new in my life Something new in my life Something wonderful in my life Oh Lord, let us sing all together Do something new in my life Something new in my life Something new in my life Oh Lord Do something new in my life Something new in my life Something wonderful Tell him once more time Do something with expectation. That is our prayer this afternoon. That you do something new in our lives, oh God. We are in your presence, mighty Father. And we are expecting something new, oh God. We are expecting, King of glory, that you are going to put something in us, my Father. That is going to change our lives forever. That your word this afternoon is going to change our lives forever. That your word this afternoon is going to strengthen our faith forever. That Jehovah God, you are going to do miracles, signs and wonders in this service, my Father. And let your name be glorified. We exalt you and we lift your name on high. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's clap unto Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. We may be seated in the presence of God. I urge all of you to come and take the front seats. Just come uh, before the camera and God will be glorified. Just come. Take your steps and come uh, beyond the cameras. Amen. Amen. God bless you as you come. Obedience is better than sacrifice. That is what the word of even the red seats you can sit on them. Hallelujah. nataka kulete neno la Bwana mchana wa leo and I want you to go to your Bibles. Go to your Bibles in the book of Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2. I'm going to read from verse 13. Wa Philippi kifungu chapili. Mstari. Wa kumina tatu. Ukifika hapo sema amina. Ujue umefika. 
wa Filipi kifungu cha pili nataka kusoma kuanzia mstari Naomba nianzie mstari wa 12 wa Filipi kifungu cha pili nataka nianzie mstari wa 12 nitasoma kwa kimombo lakini nitahubiri kwa Kiswahili We are for my beloved as you have always obeyed not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with the fear and trembling for it is God which works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure do all things without murmurings and disputings that you may be blameless and harmless the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked in the in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom you shine as light in the world holding forth the works of life holding forth the word of life that i may rejoice in the day of christ that i have not run in vain neither labored in vain yeah and if i be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith i enjoy and I rejoice with you for the same cause also you do do ye enjoy and rejoice with me but i trust in the lord jesus to send no i don't want to go beyond that i want you also to look at john chapter 14 If I'm not mistaken, the book of John chapter 14. Verse 12. John chapter 14 and verse 12, the Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believes on me, The works that I do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. Amen. And whatever you ask in my name that I will do that the father may be glorified in the son. If you shall ask anything in my name I will do it. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Huyu ni Yesu akiongea na mitume wake. Amen. Huyu ni Yesu akiongea na mitume wake wakati ambapo alikuwa anataka kupaa mbinguni. Alikuwa anaongea na mitume wake anawaambia kwamba Verily verily I say unto you that he who believes on me the works that I do shall he do also and greater works than this shall he do because I go unto my father bwana asifiwe nataka niseme ya kwamba this is the time for the sons of god to manifest this is the time for the people of god huu ni wakati wetu wa kuonyesha nguvu za mungu katika maisha yetu bwana asifiwe sana vile tulishaaomba vizuizi vikaondoka vile tulishaaomba tuliomba na tukapata upenyu na huu sasa ni wakati wa kazi za Bwana kuonekana katika maisha yetu na Yesu akiongea na mitume wake akawaambia ya kwamba yeyote aniaminie atafanya mambo haya ninayoyafanya na atafanya hata mambo makuu kuliko yale ambayo ninayoyafanya Bwana asifiwe sana yeyote aniaminie sisi kama watoto wa Mungu ni wakati wetu wa nguvu za Mungu kuonekana kwa kimombo inasema manifestation manifestation ni wakati nguvu za Mungu zimeanza kuonekana zikitenda kazi katika maisha yako Bwana asifiwe wakati nguvu za Mungu tafadhali nitengenezee microphone wakati nguvu za Mungu 
zimeanza kuonekana ndani ya maisha yako. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is when we talk about manifestation. That is the time we talk about the power of God. Nguvu za Mungu zionekane katika maisha yako. Wakati vizuizi vikiondoka basi jina la Bwana linaweza kupewa utukufu kwa sababu nguvu wewe kikawaida ni mnyonge lakini Mungu anakuwezesha kufanya mambo makubwa ambayo kikawaida haustahili kufanya haujasoma lakini mambo yale unafanya umepita hata wasomi hiyo ndiyo tunaita manifestation and i want you to know child of god this is your time to manifest praise the lord this is your time to manifest This is your time for the glory of God to be seen in your lives. Yesu akawaambia mitume wake, ya kwamba yeyote aniaminie ndani yangu ama yeyote aniaminie atafanya mambo makubwa hata kuliko yale ambayo mimi nimewahi kuyatenda. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yeyote aniaminie atatenda mambo makubwa, atatenda mambo makuu kuliko yale mimi mwenyewe nimewahi kuyatenda. Amen. Kwa sababu gani? Utatenda kwa sababu chochote mtakachoitisha kwa jina langu hicho nitakitenda ili jina la baba yangu likapokee utukufu. Kile kitakuwezesha kufanya mambo makuu sio kwa sababu ya nguvu zako, lakini nataka mchana wa leo ujue ya kwamba yani anayekaa ndani yako ni mkuu anayekaa ndani yako ako na uwezo na yeye ndiye atendaye kazi ndani yako ndiye atakayetenda kazi ndani yako kwa sababu vizuizi vimevunjika sasa ni wakati wa nguvu za Bwana kuonekana zikitenda kazi ndani ya maisha yako na Bwana anasema ya kwamba yeyote aniaminie yeyote aniaminie atatenda mambo makuu kuliko yale ambayo mimi mwenyewe nimetenda Yesu alitenda mambo makuu wakati ambapo alikuwa ulimwenguni. Yesu aliponya wagonjo. Yesu alifufua wafu. Yesu aliokoa watu. Yesu alitoa pepo. Yesu alihamisha milima. Na sasa wakati wa kuondoka umefika. Kaambia mitume wake, yeyote ambaye anaamini, ambaye ananiamini Amen. Kila mtu ambaye ni muumini atatenda mambo ambayo mimi mwenyewe mumeona nikiyatenda. Hayo mambo yote. Manake wakati Yesu alikuwa ulimwenguni, alienda kila mahali na mitume wake ili waone kama anatoa pepo wanaona anatoa. Kama anaifufua akifufua hata akina Lazaro walikuwa na yeye. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ndiyo akawaambia twendeni twendeni kwa akina Lazaro kwa sababu Lazaro amelala. Amen. Kwa hivyo hakwenda peke yake. Alienda na wao na walipoenda kwa akina Lazaro wakapata Lazaro ana siku tatu tangia akufe na hata mwili wake unanuka. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na hata alipoonyesha wakakaburi na akiitana Lazaro amka mitume wake walikuwa pale. Kwa hivyo baada ya kutembea na wao kwa muda wote alipokuwa hapa katika ziara zake za kuhubiri injili mijini na hata vijijini walikuwa na mitume wake Bwana asifiwe sana Kwa hivyo wakati ule anaondoka akawaambia ya kwamba yeyote aaminie atatenda mambo haya ambayo mimi nimeweza kuyatenda na hata zaidi ya yale ambayo nimetenda Because the sons are always supposed to be greater than their fathers. Praise the Lord. And that is the spirit ambayo sisi kama JCC we are supposed to get that spirit. Even our spiritual father has done so much for the kingdom of God. The man of God has done so much in the city. Amen. The man of God when he came in the city kulikuwa na a lot of opposition and the man of God with his stood and we are the sons and the man of god amewezesha ya kwamba injili ikaingia mombasa most of the evangelical churches that you see in mombasa it is through our father 
the father of the ho this house, the prophet of this house, that all these churches were born. There was no any spiritual church in Mombasa. And the churches that were there were very weak. But today, we see big ministries in the city. Kwa sababu, kuna mtu ambaye alisimama na haka manifest. And us being the sons in this ministry, we are supposed to manifest. We are supposed to do great things than our father. Sijui kama mimi niko na watu wa sawa but I believe and I know I am a daughter in this ministry. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na kama binti katika huduma hii nimeazimia ya kwamba ile kazi pale baba yangu amefikisha nitasongesha. Bwana asifiwe sana. I will take the remaining part of the city for the kingdom of God. And we must all develop that spirit of manifestation. We are supposed to manifest. Lazima nguvu za mungu. Zianze kuonekana zikitenda kazi. Katika maisha yetu. God has already given us the city. We are supposed to go. Praise the Lord. I was here praying in the morning. And I began to see. Najuki ukuija katika nyumba ya buwana. Hua macho yako inaanza kuona. Buwana sifia sana. Nikaona spaki yote. Nikaiona ikija. Nikaona makupa yote ikija. Nikaona wale mabinti wa saba saba. Sasa ndiyo wakati wakuwaendea. Praise the name of the Lord. Sisi ndiyo tutaendea wale mabinti wa saba saba. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember my father used to say, those girls are going to be in praise and worship. Amen. Tunawaleta hapa. Amen. Ata hii ni madhabau ya baba. Tutawaleta watasifu hapa. Because it is not the will of God that they remain there. God showed me in the morning and I saw it clearly. Siku yona nikiwa kitandani, niliyona nikiwa hapa morning glory. That is why prayers are important. Every time make sure that you come in the house of God. Usikubali siku ishe atina hauja kanyanga kwa hii nyumba. Ukija kwa hii nyumba utaona vizuri. Bwana sifia sana. Kwa sababu ni lazima uanze kuona ukiingia katika nyumba ya Bwana kwa maombi vile tumefunga na kukuomba lazima sasa kile tutakachoona tuone vizuri. Amen. Kwa sababu lazima uone kitu. Mungu anauliza unaona nini baada ya kufunga na kuomba kwa muda wote ule na kwa sababu vizuizi vimeondoka sasa unaona nini? Wewe unaona nini kwa familia yako? Wewe unaona nini kwa huduma yako? Wewe unaona nini kwa maisha yako? Lazima uanze kuona. Mimi ninaona kitu katika huduma hii ya kwamba sehemu iliyobakia ya Mombasa tutaichukua. Praise Jesus. Yeyote aaminie. Yeyote aniaminie. Atatenda mambo haya ninayoyatenda na atatenda hata zaidi ya yale ambayo nimetenda huyo ni Yesu akiongea na mitume wake na sisi tuko hapa tunastahili kutenda hata zaidi zaidi ya vile baba zetu walitenda praise the lord we are not going to allow Mombasa again to be taken by witch doctors we are not going to allow hatutaruhusu Mombasa tena irudi katika ushirikina hatutakubali tena kile ambacho nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa ninasikia ya kwamba kuingia Mombasa ni rahisi lakini kutoka ni ngumu lakini baba yetu akapigana na mapepo hayo sasa kuingia Mombasa ni rahisi na hata kutoka ni rahisi praise the name of the lord haistahili tena tuachilie we are supposed to manifest as the children of god because sisi ni waumini sisi tunaamini katika nguvu za Bwana sisi tunaamini Yesu Kristo sisi tunaamini Praise the Lord Kwa hivyo tunastahili kazi hizi zionekane katika maisha yetu kazi hizi zionekane katika maisha yako Bwana asifiwe sana Mungu ataanza kukuonyesha na akikuonyesha nenda uchukue Hakuna vile Mungu atanionyesha akiwa tayari hajatupatia. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Kwa hivyo sisi ni kuanguka tu. Mungu akituonyesha tunaendea mavuno. Kwa sababu tayari pale Mungu ametayarisha ame watu. Tutachukua akituonyesha kibokoni tutaenda. Kwa sababu ni kumaanisha ya kwamba hatujaenda peke yetu, tumeenda pamoja na yeye. It is our time to manifest. Amen. It is our time to manifest. Huu ndio wakati nguvu za Mungu zionekane. Huu ndio wakati wa kutenda milipuko baada ya pingamizi kuvunjika. Sasa ni wakati wa kufanya milipuko. Maandiko inasema wale wanaomjua Mungu wao watafanya milipuko. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa milipuko, ukishamjua utatenda milipuko. Bwana asifiwe sana. Maandiko inasema and what whatsoever you ask in my name I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Whatsoever you ask in my name. Huyo ni Yesu akiambia mitume wake, mkiomba kitu chochote mtapewa. Chochote kile mtakachoomba kwa jina langu nitawapatia. Mpendwa sasa mimi nataka kuuliza ni nini ambayo inatuzuia ku manifest? Maana vizuizi wakati yule tumemaliza maombi mwezi wa tano, hakuna kizuizi tena. Unaweza kufanyika chochote kile utakacho. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na Yesu akasema na mkiitisha chochote kwa jina langu nitawapatia. Siuitishe utapewa. Kwa nini basi hatuitishi? Kwa nini basi jina la Bwana linadharauliwa? Jina la Bwana halistahili kudharauliwa. Maisha yetu inastahili ipeane utukufu kwa Bwana. Sema imeni kubwa kama unaelewa kile nasema. Maisha yako inafaa kupitia kwako jina la Bwana lipokee utukufu. Amen. Let's manifest. It's our time. We need to know how to make God's timing. Amen. Nasema if if you shall ask anything in my name I will do it. Amen. Whatsoever you shall ask in my name that I will do and the, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name I will do it. Bwana asifiwe. Yaani itisha chochote. Chochote sijui ni nini wewe unataka. Ungetaka kuwa nini? Usikaange hauna mwelekeo. Wewe unataka kuwa nini? Bwana asifiwe. Mimi kama humuhubiri wa injili nimeitwa kunyunyizia maua maji ndio maana ninayaendea i have the grace and i have the anointing and god is with me so i am going to do exploits in the name of jesus praise the name of the lord we are supposed to shake the city from here yani tukiwa hapa tutingize huu muji wa Mombasa bwana asifiwe sana tukiwa hapa tunavaa tutingishe muji wa Mombasa kwa sababu ufalme wa giza Hauna uwezo. Anything that the devil plans to do we destroy. Hata kabla haijaanza tunaharibu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo kazi yetu. Yesu walikuja kuharibu kazi za shetani na sisi tunaendeleza ile kazi. Kazi yetu ni kuharibu kazi ya shetani. Kile shetani anakusudia tunaharibu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Uliza chochote, itisha chochote nitakupatia. So let's manifest. Tuanze kufanya mambo haya makuu. Hii haina haina gender. Anybody. Anybody who uses the name of the Lord can do exploits. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo maandiko inasema basi katika Philippians 2, fanyeni kila jambo pasipo manunguniko. Kila kazi ifanyeni pasipo manunguniko. Amen. Kila kazi fanyeni pasipo manunguniko kwa sababu gani kwa sababu mfanye bila manunguniko kwa sababu ni Mungu afanyaye zile kazi ndani yenu Amen So the Bible says Therefore my beloved as you have always obeyed not in, as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling Huyo ni Paulo anaongea na kanisa. Anawaambia mumesimamia wokovu 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo kila mmoja aendelee kufanyia wokovu wake kazi. Wokovu ni kazi. Lazima ufanyie wokovu wako kazi. Amen. Kuja kwako hapa Grace Sawa ni kazi unafanyia wokovu wako. Because you are going to grow strong in faith. Unapoendelea kusikia neno la Bwana mara kwa mara, imani yako inaenda kumea mizizi. Na kwa hivyo ni kazi. Hata kuja Grace Sawa ni kazi. Bwana asifiwe sana. So work out your own salvation with the fear and trembling. For it is God which works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasures. For it is God which works in you. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ni Mungu afanyaye kazi ndani yako. Kwa hivyo kila kitu unachofanya kifanye kwa unyenyekevu na kwa kumwogopa Mungu. Unapo manifest, unapo mambo fanya mambo makubwa, unapofufua mfu, ifanye kwa kumwogopa Mungu na kwa unyenyekevu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unapoombea mgonjwa na anapona, tenda mambo haya kwa unyenyekevu na kwa kumwogopa Mungu kwa sababu Mungu ndiye afanyaye kazi hizi kupitia kwa maisha yako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Paulo akasema sio mimi niishie tena, bali ni Mungu aishie ndani yangu. Basi kama ni Mungu aishie ndani yako, yeye ndiye anayetenda kazi ndani yako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Fanya kile unachotenda kwa unyenyekevu. Tenda kile unachotenda kwa kumwogopa Mungu. Tenda kile unachotenda pasipo kujigamba. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wala usinungunike. For it is God which works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasures. Chochote kile utakachotenda sio wewe utendaye, bali ni Mungu atendaye ndani yako. Kwa sababu maisha yetu imefichika ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kama maisha yetu imefichika ndani ya Kristo Yesu, kile ambacho tunatenda sio sisi tunayetenda, lakini ni Bwana atendaye ndani yetu. Fanya kila kitu bila manunguniko, tenda kila kitu bila ugaidi. Amen. So that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and a perverse generation among whom you shine as light in the world. Praise the Lord. Kwa sababu ya kumuogopa mungu kwako, kwa sababu ya kumcha mungu kwako, kwa sababu ya kumuamini buwana, unastaili ungare. Buwana sifia sana. Lazima tujielewe ya kwamba tumezungukwa na wahalifu, tumezungukwa na watu waovu, tumezungukwa na wenye dhambi, tumezungukwa na giza na kwa hivyo kupitia kwa matendo yetu ambaye Bwana anaenda kutenda kupitia kwa maisha yetu basi nuru inatakikana hiyo ipatikane ndani yetu sisi ndiye tutakayepatia kizazi chetu nuru Bwana asifiwe sana wakati wingu la giza limefunika kizazi chetu kwa sababu kizazi chetu kimejaa dhambi sisi ndiye nuru. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kupitia kwa maisha yetu, kupitia kwa mambo makuu ambayo tunaenda kuruhusu Mungu atende katika maisha yetu, ile matendo tunayoenda kutenda italete nuru katika kizazi chetu kilichojaa giza. Praise the Lord. So we are supposed to manifest. And the Bible says kila mmoja anayetuona, anastahili akituona aone watu wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yaani kila mtu akikuona aone mtu wa Mungu, dada wa Mungu, kijana wa Mungu. Yaani kwa sababu yale mambo ambayo uta, unaanza kutenda sio ya kawaida. Yale mambo ya, ambayo unatenda sio ya kawaida. Unaenda unaombea mgonjwa na anapona, si kawaida. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unaombea mtu anaokoka na unamlea katika imani na anakaa katika nyumba ya Bwana, hiyo sio jambo la kawaida. Kwa hivyo Mambo haya ambayo tumeitiwa ni mambo yale ambayo sio ya kawaida. Sisi sisi tumeitwa tufanye mambo ambayo sio ya kawaida. Sisi tunastahili kungara. Amen. You are supposed to shine 
as the lights in the world. When the world is full of darkness, our lights are supposed to shine and bring light to the world. Praise Jesus. So brethren, as we leave this grace hour, let's go and manifest. Bwana sifiwe. Nasema tunapotoka kwa ibada hii, tunaenda kufanya mambo maku. Tunaenda kufanya mambo ya ajabu. Amen. Tunaenda kuhubiria watu wa ukoki. Tunaenda kufufua wafu. Hata tukipata mtu wamekufa, hatuta ogopa. Tutawaambia wacheni kulia. Wacha tuwamini bwana. Kama ni wakufufuka, atafufuka. Na kama wakati wake ulikuwa umefika ataenda tu. Praise the Lord. Najua ninasikianga wachawi wana, wana, wanaweza wakaua mtu. Hao ambao wameuliwa na wachawi tunaweza tukafufua. Ndio maana tukipata amekufa tumuombe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Akiamuka tutajua ni ile yule ambaye amekufa kwa sababu ya uchawi. Kwa sababu nasikianga wanakuja tena kwa makaburi wanawaamsha. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haturuhusu waende kwa makaburi tawaamsha sisi. Praise the Lord. Wale wa mchawi lazima waamuke. Lakini yule ambaye wakati wake umefika kwa sababu hata akirogwa na mchawi tuamshe ukifika wakati wake wa kwenda bado ataenda. Praise the Lord. Ndio maana hata baada ya Petero kufufuliwa sio Petero Lazaro leo hii yuko alikufa ali, wakati wake ulipofika wa kwenda alienda. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lakini kuna watu tunafaa tuamshe. Kuna watu tunafaa tufufue. Wangapi wanajua wanaamini ya kwamba inawezekana. We are the children of God. We are supposed to manifest Ilikuambia zile nguvu uko nazo ni nyingi. Ni vile bado hujawahi ku exercise. Ni vile wewe ukiona mtu ni mgonjwa sana unaogopanga unasema we wacha huyu ni wa pastor Esther ama pastor Lai. Hapana. Wewe uko na nguvu nyingi. You are a child of God. Go and manifest. Bring light to the world. There is total darkness and hopelessness in the world. Go and bring light to the world. Amen. Ukiombea watu na mtu wao afufuke. Hey. Tayari hiyo ni nuru. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hauna haja kuhubiri injili sana. Wewe umbea mtu afufuke. Hii kanisa itajaa. Hata tutakosa mahali pa kuweka watu. Mtu mmoja tu aliyekuwa amekufa na hakuombewa na Pastor Esther, aliombewa na mshirika wa JCC ambaye hana title. Kwanza wale watu ambao hawana title, hao ndio ambao Mungu anataka kujimanifesti. Unajua hizi titles ni mbaya. Zinafanya tunaanza kujisikia tunajisikia kwa sababu am pastor so and so am reverend so and so i am bishop so and so am apostle so and so and then kule kujinua kunafanya Mungu aonekane anakosa kuonekana hizi titles hazina maana amen i love my father because he doesn't like titles sasa saa zingine tunachanganyikiwa kwa sababu sasa wewe yeye anataka umuite pastor na tukikutana na niita pastor esther sasa ninashanganyikiwa ndashinda sasa mimi nitamhitaji Bwana asifiwe sana. Aniite Pastor Esther bwana asifiwe na mimi nimwambie Pastor bwana asifiwe. Sasa tunakaa kama tumetoshana. But I understand it is humility. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ndio unyenyekevu. Tunaambiwa ya kwamba wokovu wetu tubebe kwa unyenyekevu. Humility very important. Ya kwamba tunapokuwa wanyenyekevu basi kazi kubwa zitatendeka katika maisha yetu. Bwana asifiwe sana. My prayer for you my brethren is that ya kwamba utaenda kufanya kazi ya Bwana. Praise the Lord. Usiache mtu mgonjwa hata kwenu. Ukiambiwa kuna mtu mgonjwa, waambie tuamini Bwana na tuombe. Hata kama huwezi kufika, tuma maombi kwanza, ombea huyo mtu. Praise the Lord. I postponed the death of my father when I was in primary school. My father was very sick. Na sisi tuko kule ukambani ya kikuyu zinukambani so my father was very sick and my father was famous was known everywhere because tuliingiana na wakamba na tukakuwa kama wao so my father became sick na kwa sababu yani watu wengi nikaanza kuona my father was very sick angeweza kuamka pale alikuwa amelala my mom was not around and i was in primary school and i started seeing kule ukambani kama mtu amekufa wanakujanga wamebeba mtungi wa maji wamebeba kuni kaanza kukutana na watu yani mtu anabebanga tu chochote kile yako nacho anakuja kwa matanga because my father was known sababu alikuwa anaenda kila mahali kwa shughuli so ikawa hata ukiongea ukiwa mbali my father anajulikana 
and also because of the businesses that he was doing. So, the it, rumors zikaenda all over ya kwamba my father is dead. So I started seeing people come at my home. So nikienda tu hivi nikakutana na wengine wametoka mbali sana wanakuja. And then when I listen to their conversation, wajua hawanijui, wanasema yule mzee Mungai amekufa. And I was like, how? My father to die na niko primary nitasomeshwa na nani? And I refused that my father should not die. Bwana asifiwe sana. Nikakataa babangu akifa. Do you know what I did? Nilisikia vile mtu anasikianga in the spirit. Na nikaingia shambani. Kule kuna mashamba makubwa because mashamba yale tuko nayo ni yale babangu alifanya kushika in 70s. Kaingia kwa shamba. Sasa hiyo mahindi ni makubwa. Nikaingia. I went to pray for my father. Nikaenda kumlilia Mungu kwa sababu ya babangu. I prayed for healing of my father. Naombea babangu apone mtoto wa primary. Ndio nakwambia manifest. Nikaenda kumuombea. Na nikaomba nikaomba niliacha nilienda pale katikati ya shamba kuna mti ulikuwa umeanguka kwa hivyo kulikuwa na space kulikuwa umeanguka na umekuwa umekauka pale katikati ya shamba nikaanza kuombea babangu niliacha kama naomba pole pole kumbe nilianza kuomba sana praise the lord i was fighting the spirit of death from my father na nikaomba nikaomba kumbe nilianza kuomba sana by the time nifungue macho watu walikuwa wamejaa shambani wanakuja kuangalia what is happening a little girl praying for her father how can my father die nikiwa primary singe maliza form 4 bwana asifiwe sana ningeachwa kwa wakati ule ningekuwa mtu wa mtoto ameachwa na babake sina baba kwa sababu bado sijiwezi and i prayed for my father and god healed my father kama mungu anaweza akasikia mtoto wa primary my father died in 2012 nikiwa na familia yangu amen nikiwa na familia yangu i postponed the death of my father Alikufa ile ya Mungu. Lakini sio ile ile ingine ya haraka. Bwana asifiwe. He died at 89. Kwa hivyo inamaanisha angekufa akiwa mdogo na sio mapenzi ya Mungu. But at least tuliishiishi. Akaacha kwanza nimefanya harusi. Amen. Na kila mtu amelelewa. Hakukua na mtoto. Kila mtu alikuwa mtu mzima kwetu nyumbani. Bwana asifiwe. So when I'm telling you to go and manifest, I know what I'm telling you. Enda ubadilishe hali hata kwenu hata kwako unaweza wacha Mungu atukuzwe what do you think those people walikuwa wanajua nimeokoka hata nikiwa mdogo walikuwa wanajua nimeokoka bwana asifiwe sana hiyo kitu uenda kwa sababu ilifanywa na mtoto mdogo haikujulikana sana lakini mimi ninajua ninajua niliombea babangu na akapona bwana asifiwe sana let's go and manifest amen i want to pray because we are past time funga macho yako tuombe Baba katika jina la Yesu ninakushukuru maana wewe ni Mungu unastahili sifa na utukufu Baba asante kwa sababu ya kazi kubwa ambayo unaenda kutenda katika maisha yetu Ninaombea kila mtu alie katika ibada hii ya kwamba Bwana unaenda kuwawezesha kutenda mambo makuu yote kwa utukufu wa jina lako Baba ninaomba ukatumie kila mmoja wetu e Bwana tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kizazi chetu Bwana kinaenda kulete mwangaza katika vizazi vilivyo tuzunguka ambavyo ni viofu na ni vyenye dhambi baba ninaomba kwa jina la Yesu ya kwamba tutakuwa hiyo sauti katika kizazi chetu tutalete mwangaza katika kizazi chetu tutalete matumaini katika kizazi chetu bwana katika mji huu katika jina la Yesu mwangaza utapatikana mwangaza utaenea kote kwa utukufu wa jina lako baba ninaombea kila mmoja bariki kila mmoja baba tumia kila mmoja katika jina la Yesu wacha watu wako bwana wakatende mambo makuu na mambo ya ajabu katika jina la Yesu vile ambavyo umesema ya kwamba yeyote aaminie atayatenda yale uliyotenda na hata zaidi naombea kila mmoja aliye katika nyumba yako bwana mchana wa leo wacha wakatende hata zaidi na jina lako likaheshimiwe tunakupa sifa na tunakupa utukufu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo bwana na mokozi tumeomba Amen. Tunataka kutoa sadaka zetu kwa haraka. Naomba ukachukue sadaka yako. Yote kile Mungu amekupatia ni cha kuweza kumwabudu Bwana nacho. Kwa hivyo, worship God with what he has blessed you with. We want to give our offering. Is your if your offering is in your phone, then you can use the pay bill number wale ambao mnatuangalia kwa screen so that are watching us uh, on your uh, the social media basi unaweza kutumia pay bill number ambayo iko kwa screen and those that are in the sanctuary 
then the pay bill number is right there katika ukuta bwana asifiwe sana so tunataka kumtolea bwana just lift up your offering father thank you tunakushukuru kwa maana tumejua kwa nini umetuleta mchana wa leo ninaomba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo ukazidi kujitukuza katika maisha yetu uinuliwe na utukuze tunapokutolea sadaka hizi zipokee kisha ubariki maisha yetu kwa Yesu Kristo bwana mwokozi tumeomba ukitoa sadaka yako simama kwa miguu yako ukitoa simama nataka kumaliza ibada hii Baba bariki watu wako. Baba watendee mema. Naomba ya kwamba malaika wako wataenda na wao wakawazunguke popote pale watakapoenda. Wacha malaika wa Bwana wakawapatie ulinzi. Roho mtakatifu wa Mungu tenda mema katika maisha yao. Naomba Bwana ya kwamba neema yako itakuwa pamoja nao. Uinuliwe na utukuzwe kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana mwokozi tumeomba. Now may the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Bwana awabariki.